guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show. And of course, we're the number one online TV show. So guys, today I'm privileged to meet one of the best stand-up comedian you have in Kenya, YY comedian, and also the newest daddy in town right here. So guys, today we're talk about Kipiga Story. This guy, Hapiangi Story now to interviews. I'm fanya moja apa ingine next year. Evo, but leo ni memkamata. Ni mekwa ni kimtafuta for a very long period of time. But leo ni ile siku. Ukaja wai wai. Niko salama sana uko sawa? Uh -huh, Niko poa kabisa. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Kazi poa unadu by the way. Pia, wai wai. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. Yes. How is the feeling being a daddy? It's a great feeling. Ni mena level next, sai. Ata sai mtu hazi ni taovi ovio. Ata fana hazi ni taovi ovio. Ati kujo ni salimi hapa. Na mini buda mtu. <laughs> Wapi, manu utaitwa. <laughs> mini buda mtu sai. Kuna naweza chapa mtoto as in naweza naweza tuma mtoto ni aende na yani niko pazuri mm -hmm. let me tell you it's a, it's a, it's a huge feeling mm -hmm. and it's also humbling mm -hmm. uh, and it changes your perspective as well eh? uh, it's not like uh, kawaida vile nilikuwa naza rudi home vile nataka saa 9 sijui uh, saa nane. no right now kuna kwanza kuna feeling fulani mtoto ana coming nayo kuna karufu fulani ya mtoto mm -hmm. aish <laughs> aish kuna karufu fulani ya mtoto kimweka hivi I love when I jump to you. When I'm doing, I'm strength, and then they are still vulnerable at the same time. So when I'm doing, I'm going to be a kushi kavi. That's your feeling. It's a good feeling. I'm feeling good. Yani, and shout out to every dad out there, every mommy out there. It's a huge feeling, and it's not easy as well. So. Big up to yourselves. Okay, how has the journey been? You know, you guys were to, to surprise all of a sudden to poor congratulations. You never shared the journey online. The mom also would love to know Jani Mekuaje. The journey has been amazing. Missim to akushare mambo zangu za relationship. Ivo vile nini. Nata sai ni lewe katundo ikuwe pia mujuange. Eshi my doom una ona kinga kwa DM. Jua kuna. Behind the scenes, mm. so the journey has not been that easy, but also through God's grace, it's been amazing. Uh, I've been able to attend all the clinics, all, all the clinics. I am going to cancel. I ensured because the best thing that you can ever do as a dad, if you have sired together with another woman, if you've sired a baby, ensure your presence is so important before anything else your presence so i was ensured I, I i i ensured actually sorry i ensured i was present in every bit every aspect little or much clinics kwapi ndio yo ameuma na mgongo kidogo ndio yo mimi i was there siku ya leba kusikuwa eh kwanza ustaka kujua siku ya leba eh no ma eh 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 wacha nikwambie tulitoka you know first of all uh, tulipata premature labor yeah, so below 34 weeks. So we had to look for ways to knock off the labor. Knocking off labor is a process uh, whereby you postpone the labor. And then mother and under some medication and then So that by the time ile 34 weeks, we have to wait for the labor. So we have to wait for So that by the time ile time may postpone the labor. So that by the time it was tough. So that by the time it was tough. So that by I went to RFH Ruaka. They in fact they know si mingi sana wakaniambia hakuna haja knock off to to mzalishe tu. So I had to look for ways to get RFH Ruaka eh waka knock off mtoweka kam 3 weeks later and it was so amazing I come at the right amount of kgs and and I have never been tongue tied and kushina kuongea like that. It was an amazing experience yani kuangalia mtu wangu yani alafu najua vile alitoka hakulia kwanza. Alitoka tu kwanza. Eh, and then unajua nilipata kama wacha nikupigie story. Unajua nilikuwa kwa labor ward na mama. So ni mshindani kimsugua. Alafu kuna venye hiyo kapeni kakikam unasugua mgongo hivi kidogo ati ndio ka ka reduce kidogo. I, I, I'm not sure if it works ama ni, ni psychological too. Lakini sasa nilikuwa nashindani kimsugua. Kuna mahali nimesugua mpaka in fact nakutumia hizo footage. Nimesugua mpaka amepiga vitu teke wapi? Nikachoka unafika point maka mpaka kama ukiambia ngo kneel down hivi na unywe mkono mtu uchoka can you imagine kufanya kazi hivi from asubuhi mpaka 4 alafu naambiwa mnafaa mngoje fika 10 cm unaambiwa ndiko 6 from asubuhi ndiko 6 so ten dafika saa ngapi nilichoka mpaka nikaacha daktari nikajifanya nimenakupiga kupiga simu 
Imagine vile nitoka tena kupiga simu. Actually nilikuwa nimepiga simu ya ukweli, but vile nilienda nikasema acha nikae kidogo ni pumziki, daktari acha sugue sugue. Vile nilienda nikirudi hivi. Nimesema hapo nje nini nasikia? Congratulations. Oh my goodness. I walked into that room and saw my baby and my woman was there and I have never felt like sina kitu ya kusema like that. And so I'm so humbled and I thank God for this way that he has brought me. Yes. Wow. Umesema uliko umetembea hospitali zingine, they told you there is no need to induce, you can just have the baby cure that four weeks. Why is it that you insisted of and yani ikuwa prolonged, it postponed? Because uh, in healthcare there are standard procedures that have to be met. There are standard healthcare provision that have has to happen. Uh, if I, let, let me let me put it in a way that people will understand. Eh? There are kuna standard measures zenye lazima zikuwe attained for something to happen. Kupata mtoi KG yake ni dogo. Mansa zijafika. Mbona zaliyo before? Before that before, way before that before. Mtoi at least anafaa kuwe at above at, at above 34 ama at above 35. So ikuwa way below alafu KG ni KG ni kidogo napata mtoi ni week. Eh, kuna ma, ma organs zija develop poa ziko weak. So that is where by unapata mtoi amezaliwa anaanza kuwa kwa incubator. And then chances as zingine pia za ku survive inaweza kuwa narrow because mtoi condition yenye anasurvive nayo kwa tumbo sio ile same na ile condition ya survive nayo artificially so I, i insisted i insisted that we have to knock off this labor that's when it kind of RFH and they told me by the way this has to be knocked off so na that brings a situation whereby kuna watu wenye wana labda na losing watoi juu ya negligence ama juu ya ignorance ya ya ma, ya practitioners because any healthcare Uh, doctor or a nurse should know that mtoi akiwa na kg fulani ama akiwa hajafika month fulani hafai kuzaliwa then they are supposed to try uh, by any means necessary kuonesha that mtoi amekaa kidogo na ame get nutrients from mother you know yeah wow. and the fact that you know most of the time nasikianga kwanza the dad akipata a bouncing baby girl hey wanakuanga very excited the fact that is a girl how are you feeling na jo kwanza tulipigana mimi tulikuwa nilikuwa for the boy child oh. alafu mgalde alikuwa for the girl child for the girl child hey that's that's one is yeah. unheard of you most of the time boys wanakuanga yeah. for the girl child yes. every each and every time so unajua kwanza kwanza siku yenye nilipewa news ya ya pregnancy uh-huh, uh, the news that oh. you know I'm, preg- i'm actually pregnant unajua uh-huh. kwa news kana kujanga siku fulani tu yenye mmechill tu mnafanya mambo yenu alafu so she was actually crying you are tense No. So the lady was crying. Me didn't know what was happening. So I'm just chilling then she comes to me crying. And then I'm like, "What's up? Nini nafanyika?" Then she didn't want to say akikase aki akikuwa kolo atakayen kuongea. So I insisted, "Ni nini? What is the problem?" Akaniambia, "Ati I'm pregnant." And I was like, "Then why are you crying?" So I was excited like, "Bono nalia?" Ati you know, so aliendelea kulia for a while. So tukamua sasa acha basi tufanye test to prove kama ni Usiku na Lia na usiku pia mimi nimefurahi na hakuna mtoto. Hakuna mtoto. So tukanua test kit tatu. Akafanyisha mbili, alafu mimi pia nikafanya na nini yangu. <laughs> nikafanya kama mwanaume na urine yangu. Ndio <laughs> ikuwe. So that you can know the difference. <laughs> Nikakuwa pregnant basi hiyo kitu ni ni false positive. <laughs> But then it came it came out um, yangu ikatoka negative, yake positive. So we started fighting for boy child girl child uh-huh. uh, so me, i wanted a boy Hi. not for any reason just at see that ni kona ubaya na dema manini nilikuwa nataka tu kijana for for hiyo vita tu ya ya wewe ni mwanaume wewe ni mwanamke mimi ni mwanaume so mimi pia nataka team yangu wewe pia uko na team ya uko na team yako so vile tulifanya tunaenda kufanya ultrasound tukambe daktari eh tuandikie mahali alafu tuende tutapea mtu alafu siku moja labda tunaweza fanya nao baby shower daktari akakataa kutuandikia at least nyinyi fikeni nyumbani tawaambia imagine sasa tukifika mjwani tunampigia badala hata ape mtu hata atupe hiyo news anatuambia ni kadem imagine sasa tuwezi fanya baby shower can't do anything surprising you know but but i'm glad and one of the major reason i'm glad if unajua ni mliai lose mtu wa kwanza to still still birth Silborn baby ni wale ume eh, ame, amezaliwa ajaona dunia amezaliwa tu alafu akadai 
Yes. So wangu ilikuwa ile ya save the mother. Okay, oh, eh, yes. Cuz ilifika point mtoi sasa kumbe ni wasi yes. Cuz in most situation that's why people should work in a clinics. Wana fawa juwe by the time flani that whom toi mali amefika ni wasi yes ama si wasi yes. So they don't tell us. Si tunajua mtoi ni wa natural. So tumeenda tukangoja labor au oh, nini so time ya kuzaa mtoi atoki. Cuz unapata mtoi ni ni mbiki kushinda kushinda the path. So mtoi pia need more energy the mother needs a lot of energy so ika kuwa shida ika kuwa sasa basi and the yes theater iko full so what happens if the mother keeps on pushing ata lose energy and ata die na mtoi tena die unaona so ika kuwa the situation ni niaje to save mother yeah so Uh, since you went through that situation is it one of the reasons senye umekufanya kwa this specific one umekuwa very keen yes Because back then I was I was I was, I was very young. I didn't understand a lot of things because that was in 20 uh, 14 15 2014 2015. So 2014 2015 I was barely 20 or 19. Unaona? So there are a lot of things that I did not know. Zenye na jua saa hii, unaona? So it's a journey as well in as much as peer sometimes they say that everything happens for a reason. Maybe labda Mungu angenipea umtoi, singejua kitu akafanya na umtoi because there are a lot of things I did not know. That sign a jua and i can even advise somebody and even by the every time i keep on uh, i learn a lot so it's, a, it's an experience it's a journey so back then kuna vitu sikuwa najua that's why right now vile nilizijua and i also studied a lot hiyo time ingine hata sikuwa na study sikuwa na research sikuwa na find out nini mtoi bila nafaka kufanya nini eh through research ndio imekuwezesha kujua a lot of stuff because yani mimi kukaa tuna ya chini i feel like you have a lot of information when it comes to parenthood and dealing with infants i may not even have a lot of information but i i, I think i have just enough that is necessary the bare minimum that is ne- necessary ku 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 take mse through the pregnancy nini will happen wapi ukisikia nini unafaa cause kuna kuna ma danger signs ukikuna vitu zikifanya lazima uende osi ukisikia backek vya abnormal unafaa uende osi ukisikia kuna tumbo mahali ufai kuignore kusema ati oh ni tumbo labda ni nauma hata kama ni food poison you should not ignore so there are a lot of things that nakuja ku discover now that labda ningejua then i should have maybe maybe things would have taken a different turn you know but what happened happened may her soul rest in peace but i believe that god ame reincarnate huo mtoi through huyu and i'm so honored yes hata kama ni dem yani i am so honored yes wow what can you say to the mom probably she will see the video or sometimes later she's actually one of the strongest women i have ever seen the strongest especially even at her age even for let me tell you even to deal to deal na mwanamke mimi Hai ya 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 ya. <laughs> Dueling with a high voltage man number one. High voltage. We talking about by high voltage. High voltage mentally, emotionally, spiritually. <laughs> Na tena mwanaume msumbufu. Mhm. Wewe ni You agree you are a sumbua. Hai mimi hapo nimekubali. It's very difficult to deal with me. I'm a great guy, sweet, nice, but I have to be approached nicely. In a way. In a way. Ah usikunikujia tu. Ah uh-uh. ah hata mafans wanajuanga wanajuanga huyu kimaproach vibaya uta uta eh uta kitakona majua naje najipenda sana i love myself so much so anyone that ha- that gets through me ju najipenda sana they have to love me hivyo sana that's when i'll reflect it back yes so you say she's the wa- she any she's the strongest she's strong she's amazing she's selfless she's loving she's adorable she's beautiful Oh my goodness you have no idea so tupe picha pale watu waone unasema nitawaekea wow ah tukitoka kwa story why why yes. you know you've talked about uh, spiritual intelligence and everything and you are mangeste yani you are the best stand up comedian that you have and nikikuwa tu na marafiki wangu na sikianga if you're not intelligent enough jokes is why why zitakupita <laughs> so i'd love to know like how did you come up with this skill and you able like you able to make people laugh yani umeji package in a very different way because in Kenya we don't have so many people who can do stand up comedy first of all stand up comedy is the toughest art of acting mm. toughest kabisa because with stand up comedy is a risk imagine that's the biggest risk what to fanya it's not like music 
music ukitoa mali ku perform unaituanga because ah uko na hit inaitwa mbwe mbwe tupatie mbwe mbwe tupatie uh, midnight train tupatie pombe because people already know what you're coming to give with stand up comedy even if i watched you do something amazing i will not call it to do that craft ndakuita unifanye kitu mpya nyambi mwenye sijaiski so even as a stand up comedian when i'm on stage performing hata mimi sijuangi na nakutokeaje i'm always risk taking imagine una set mtego imagine how ni watu 2000 na wote wanafaa check a place specific at the same time his vitu ujaizi take ujaizi test anywhere is the first time you're testing them and you're testing them on site so what i usually say is that ni grace flani god al tupea mimi sasa ngine si understanding kuna joke naweza andika ni perform ni juu baadaye nika chini seme i wrote this one you know so it's a grace na hii grace mungu akupatia ngi tu kama umekaa your comfort zone no you have to research you have to watch people I watch the like of Dave Chappelle. I watch the likes of Chris Rock because they are the best that ever did it. So every time now na vile wanafanya vitu zao the arrangement. Mimi kwa stand up comedy zangu kama kuna kitu move focus nayo ni arrangement. In that naweza kosa unaweza ona kitu useme ati labda hajakuchekesha but kuna mpangilio. I will have the opening act the opening part of uh, of the joke ni kuna body and then kuna conclusion. It's very important as a comedian your work is not only to entertain but also to to give people insights be well, be informed so that ukuna kitu ya kuambia watu eh soma magazeti read books because it's good to have the subconscious wisdom ile kitu yenyewe unasema yenye mtu anajiambia aje ria sikitu msemaji kitu kaa hiyo no no so it's more of research watch people support people na ukuna hat poa ukiwa na rombaya kwa instant up comedy hakuna mali unaenda kwa nini ah, roho ningeaje ni spiritual iki ni spiritual by the ukiwa tuna romba ya tuoni wa kufungia watu milango ah zako zinafungwa kwa art mzima actually because you know what talent is god given let me ask you a question why do you think eh mwalimu ama not necessarily mwalimu ama eh give me a profession give me a profession just name any profession kwa or a doctor atangoja one month kulipwa kitu yenye musician comedian anaweza lipwa na 5 minutes do you know why do you know why a footballer cristiano ronaldo will earn 10 times what a doctor mwenye amesoma miaka yote kuni do you know why because cristiano ronaldo ni talent ya god ya mungu and god's god given talent is the most expensive that is why daktari engineer na nini how is he kama footballer how is he kama basketballer why because profession ili kreativa na binadamu so the things that were created by human beings are likely to be cheaper than those that were created by god yes okay. why do you think in our country we have very few uh, stand up comedians because hata niki there are several interviews we may have niki have na um, au wenye ufanya skits the likes of Flaco especially Flaco is my good friend he normally says yeah yeah hawezi hata jaribu why do you think we have a few because stand up comedy is for the few it is for the few there's no answer there's no other answer stand up comedy is for the few number one for you to be a stand up comedian you have to be naturally funny achana na mambo ya script ati as a as an actor unaweza chekesha as an actor mtu akichekesha as an actor anakuangamia nikiwa script and then anakuchekesha za actor huyo ni actor tu ame execute script as a stand up comedian that's you that's who you are so if you're giving us stories you're giving us stories about you about yourself about your family and your experience so number two, you have to be very intelligent very it calls for a lot of intelligence to be able to read minds that's why nilikuwa nakwambia sasa zile can you imagine how ni watu tao na unasema kitu na ile mtego ulisema mali ulijua watachekea hapo ndo wanachekea what at the same time it takes a lot so that's why there are a few third reason why there are few stand up comedians ni story ya comfort zone mtu amekuja amepiga kuna kuangana cast flani ya ya big beginning a lot of stand up comedians in Kenya wame mekiwa na big beginnings msali anza tu hivi kama ni big aja tamak ameanza tu hivi watu wakasema He is the big thing. He is the next. This is the king. What on a crown? And you've not gone through the journey. 
So when you don't go through the journey, most of the time, ujuangu ukianguka, jume anza ukua big. So how would you safari? How would you safari vile hiko? So the only option in yokonayo, ni kurudi to down. Na hata injia kurudi down. How would you vile naka? So hata time unanguka anga. How would you angi? And you know one problem is that sometimes when you're so big, you will never know when you're falling. Because hata my clients wa kianza kutoka kama wini mbigu, would you angi? Because you still have, to say me wakona a thousand clients. Hata uki lose five, you will not know. You lose seven, you will not know. But when you two clients, you lose more, you will realize. So that is why when people become so big, they get to their comfort zones and they lose faster than they think because they don't realize they're losing it because they have large numbers. Yes. Okay. And being a comedian who has gone through Churchill platform, yes. so many times uh, we find people saying Churchill alitumia watu, Churchill sijui nini, especially when comedians probably wamekuwa wagonjwa ama wamepata msimba, yani such things. Yes. I know you have heard such things. Yes. What can you say about that? One thing I can say about that is that a lot of people sometimes speak without knowing facts. Even the other day, uh, of course, quick recovery to Akuku Denja. What all went on online? You know, that hey, ukona 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 gari kubwa, oh, namdugua kwenye mungwanjwa, and I'm like, so if your if, if your friend is sick, you're supposed to sell your car. You're supposed to to ban them. Una fau chome nyumba, una fau kuwa homeless. You know na. And some of these people, they're not even in our WhatsApp group. Ata wajui, nani anachanga, nani anachanga wajui, who is mobilizing what, where, unawana. They just speak. Especially audience of Facebook. Let me tell you, audience of Facebook. Sorry to use this word, but they're the less intelligent. Less intelligent. Facebook. Less intelligent. I don't know. No, wengi wana kongo watu wa mesoma. So, na muse ma, why confuse wisdom, watu mtu wise na mtu mu intelligent. Uneza kwa mu intelligent, wewe unajua vitabu, umesoma. You're book smart, but you're not wise. Audience on Facebook, I pray that God is going to bless you today. Everything is going to be okay. Your doors are going to open. Unatubariki kama nani? Where ni nani unatubariki? Who are you? Unawana? So ni watu mezoya. They will say anything at any given time. They don't care. Ah, wajalingi. So sisi upa manandu na vile vile wana kam. So what I was telling is this. A lot of people usually speak. Vitu wa wajuangi. Unawana? People speak. One thing I would say, even when Othuol Othuol died, a lot of people said a lot of things. Who is sacrificing? What? Can you produce evidence? And the problem with audience here to your Facebook and even social media is that wow run na side ya kwanza ku report story. If sign ya dem tu amuke sai, ata ni pange na dem ni mwambeni aje, endu danganye, ati I tried to sexually assault you. I love to unavilo auto react. What are ranza kunitukana? Oh, what kind of a man are you? Wanantukana based on what? Nambindo ni mepangai kitu yote. I love to na udema kuja semeni aje. By the way, I lied to you about the story. Aita trend. Yo story ya eku come out clean, aita trend. Unawa ni taba kikuwa? Nilifanya hivi, nilifanya hivi. So sisi tumesha zoya. That's how they speak. Odinsi ya kenye kwa hivyo. Let me tell you something if. Look at our political state right now. In 2002, Raila alikuwa na Uhuru na alikuwa na, na Kibaki. Against who? Uhuru Kenyatta. 2007 alikuwa against nani? Kibaki. Si ndio? In 2002 siku watu walipigana. Walipigana wao oh, si wapendi wewe wewe una support Raila, wewe una support nini mimi na support nani Kibaki? Nini? Walipiga? When people went to 2007, Kibaki was against. Sitana tulipigana. Oh, we, nini, mini mtu wa Kibaki, mini mtu wa Raila. Oh, nini, ayo time alikuwa na Ruto. Sindio? Ruto right now is not with Raila. And we are still fighting. Nani mujinga? Una, sino, sino mafala? So, that is the mentality lazima tutoe. Iyo ndo mentality lazima tutoe. Ukipata, wewe ni msiwa kudraw conclusions on blanket statement. Then you don't deserve to be called intelligent. Mm -hmm. Yes. So to Kendelea, this, uh, the other day I saw an interview, mm. Eric was saying, Nye kama comedian who has been through Churchill, mm. Mnafai Mungane, you build a house for, for him, kila mtu atua 200k thousand, na in case nyinyi mtashindo wa Eric anaiza kafanya peke yake. I would love to know what your take about the whole idea, and also do you think Eric can uh, can be able to do it by himself? Siajenga yake kwanza. 
Ganyan eh. Si Ajenge. Si Ajenge. Si afungue group. Si Ajenge. Si Ajenge. Si Ajenge. Eric anasama na hata bado haja wafungulia group. Eric. Acha na Eric. Eric. Ni kijana wa sinema. Eric ni kijana wa sinema. Eric right now is fighting for 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 Wanjiki. The next day is fighting for play music yeah. AE. Tena kidogo ana fightia muziki ya yeye mwenyewe ana fightia muziki ya Kenya. Tena ameenda kufightia Tanzania. So by fighting muziki ya Tanzania muziki ya Tanzania sio fight ya Kenya. Kidogo kidogo oh siju utasikia Eric Mondi. Oh kuku za Namibia siju zina aziheshimiwi. Oh siju ni unaona? Eric one thing I, I would like Eric to 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 nini. And I would like this message to go to Eric. Eric sort the comedy in this industry first. Let him sort the comedy industry first. Because Eric claims that musicians wanafa kulipua poa, wanafa sijua si cut and raise, wanafa zoe shifanya nini, but he strongly believes that comedians wanafa kulipua na platform. That's double standard. And I believe vizuri, comedians wanafa kulipua na platform. Sindio? Ati, first of all, let me also address this issue. If you have a platform out there, enye nasa idea wa sani, inafanya nini, inafanya nini, If this platform is generating you income mm -hmm. then pay your artists. Mm -hmm. If 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 na kufanya kitu kuna platform na kufanya kitu but I could I could lipi si niwacha nitufanye tu. But if na kufanya kitu na inakulipa mbona wasanii waambiwa you never know who is watching atifanya alafu pesa kuna pesa huko mbele. Most of the time wasanii wanakufa njaa and because wana wamekuwa wakiambiwa time yenu ina come. Kumbe time yako ni saa hii. Your time is right now. Hapo mali unafanya kazi. That's where you're supposed to be paid. That's where you're supposed to be earning. I've never seen a doctor being told, you know what? Eh, kuja utibu kwa hospitali yangu alafu Kenyatta watakuona. Mm -hmm. Ama ununue mkate uambiwe sasa mimi nipatie mkate yako bure alafu kuna wadosi watakuja wanunue mkate zako. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work like that. Okay, so you feel like Churchill is supposed to not pay that. Churchill. I'm not talking about Churchill. I am talking about the industry as a whole. There's so this information is broader than you might think. There are a lot of platforms out here. Hata vipindi tuko na vipindi kwa TV. A lot of them. Artists wana wana ndani wanalipa ngapoa. Hawalipi poa. Hawalipi poa because wanaambiwa ni aje. G market ndio upate advert. Umsani ni ni is a marketer. See the enemy art artist is supposed to be paid through their art. Marketing income endorsement should be the side. But mark squeeze usani mearibiwa imekuati. Goal ni kukua marketer. Goal ni kukua influencer ati Onekana kwa TV ndio kwa influencer. No. Hapo kwa TV mahali huko ndio unafaa ulipwe. Mtu akikuja sideways asemee, "Eh, napenda hiyo kitu yako." Then they paid you extra. But side hustles kuzi ni na make you ikwe kama the goal. So a lot of artists wanna strive their entire lives out of endorsements because they don't know how many copies do we have. Kwa wanaza serve wasani wote. Ni wachache. In as much as they say that the cake is too big, the cake is not too big on the higher end. It's actually too big down here. So charity begins at home. So let's make this platform favorable for artists. Be it a TV show, be it a TV drama, be it a TV series, be it mtu anakuhostia kipindi kwa TV. If hiyo kipindi inaleta pesa. Mlipe? Yes. Okay. Uh, what about uh, my question? Do you yeah. think Eric can do it by his own? And do you think the idea ni kitu wasani wanaweza ungana wafanye? Ndio nimekwambia. Hao wasani, huyo Eric angekuwa mejenga yake. Angekuwa mejenga yake. Aanze na yake. Aanze na yake. And you think it's a good idea? It's a it's a good idea. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Kampa moja appreciate something that that made you someone. Good idea. But are you able to do it? Are you able to do it? That's the question. So if you're able to do it, fine. But even if you called Eric today. No mwambie tunataka ku mobilize saa hii saa hii first of all wacha ni wacha ni kwambie why it might not even be possible to do it mm. wasani ni wa shift sana mm. because not every msanii ako na mindset different apart from ya usanii mm. unaona mimi nime try ku mobilize hata watu kwa kwa tu, 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 tufungue mpaka mpaka sako mpaka nimepeleka mpaka watu kwa bank tufungue nini to save mtu akaona ni kama tunapanga tuna kuaibia unaona So a lot of people still think that usani ndio inalipa influencing inaleta kazi so ni turn kesho ni turn next week ni turn hiyo week next people do not have the mindset so a lot of these people that you want to gather together 
ati wajenge mtu mwingine wao wenyewe okay wenyewe will they do it for somebody else that's a question mm -hmm. so if they are able to do it, the bible says that he who is trustworthy with little will be with much can be trusted with much so if mtu eh mwenyewe kama individual hawezi jifanyia atafanyia mtu mwingine and why is it that most of the time mm. when okay wa Kenya ina uliza kama wa Kenya junaona nga wa Kenya who have those conversation like this time round i did a, uh, a video yes. about a kukudenja and the situation mm. uh, trying to tell people wa change and everything and you see like so many people were like ah mbona hawa wasanii each and every time they are sick they tell us to changa and everything we would love to know your take about your situation here let me tell you something if mm. these Kenyans ni wadabo standard sana. Wao jifanya wanatupenda na watupendi. Mm. Number one, you remember when Uru Kenyatta said that anaenda kupeana 100 million for artists. Mm. Artists wenye wako over 50,000. Nenyata wakipo 100 million. Kila mtu atashika tu mia moja. Wali kasirika. Mm. Ili wauma, wanataka kupeo 100 million na sujui watu wanakufa, sujui wapi nja. Instead of saying that now that muna pay artists 100 million, can you also allocate other funds for our medical institutions? Can you also allocate other funds for our educational institutions? Can you also allocate other funds for what you want to do? Oh, they say, hiyo, hiyo, you want to go back, you want to go back, you want to go back, you Secondly, how my fans when you want to complain? Kwa DM yetu, si tunatumi anga wangapi pesa? Hapo kwa DM yetu, hata, hata leo ni mutumi wangapi do, ni haje, na wazemi ni kopabaya, ni kona mtu kwa hospitali, ni kona school fees. We, we do that. We just don't post. If we, we, found, we took each partner kwa shida, just because nili kusaidia na siku weka, that's not mean I never helped you. So, if, if there's a situation at hand, forget about the fact that he's an artist. Ni mbina damu, hako na wazazi pali, hako na wato na mtegemea. So a lot of people wana saa that artists are also human beings. And that is why they can throw insults the way they want. Nili uliza mungine siku fulani. You are not supposed to respond because wana taka ukuwe machua. Wawa hizi kuwa machua, but you should be machua. You are stooping so low. If you stoop so low. So my question is, is this. Can you imagine tukitembea pale kwa street, alafu, utukane mtu atakufanya nini? Atakupiga. But can you imagine msana za tukana tu? Now, because I'm on TV, because I have a blue tick, because I have followers, I'm not supposed to say anything. I'm not supposed to feel anything. I'm human being at the end of the day. Nani kikushika kwa kona mzuri na nijue ni wewe. Ni tadili tuna wewe. Unawana? So that is, iyo ndi usani. Iyo ndi usani na to make matters worse ni poverty mentality metuaribu sana pia. Nja, anja yame tuaribu. Nja yame tuaribu sana. That is why watu wako tubita. You will never see somebody who owns a property akiena kudemolish. You will never see anyone mwenye anaonduka akiena kulut. Because they know the pain. They feel the pain. They will never do that. Ukionanga hao wenye wakimbia kwa vitu ozi, yu nini umefanya kitu umemeka achievement, umambia ni aje, mimi kama Eve nimetoka hapa, saa hini kwa nyumba poa, wana za kutukana. It's because they have never been to those houses. The day they will be kwa hizo nyumba hata kwa naongea hivo. But should they continue speaking like that, they will never even nini kwa hizo houses. Ata, 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 umeka kagarika kwa pale, mtu analamika. That is why we can't even, we can't, as an artist in Kenya, you can't even say you own a car. You can't say, because you say, oh, sasa unaringa. Sasa unafanya nini? Hey, una, una, kwanza kuna tamflani wanasema anga tu. Unaendesha na pesa yetu. Kuna siku niluliza mtu kwa Facebook, ni kamambia, ebu ni yonyeshe vile wewe, kwa Facebook, ni kiweka video, na lipua. Facebook does not pay me. It does not pay me, sidiyo? But mutu wana feel entitled. This thing is mutual. Hiki tunafai kwe. At the end of the day mutu wakuja kwa content yako kwa Eve by the way. Aja kuja tukusupport. Ame kuja kujifuraisha. But in return, ame kusupport. Akijifuraisha. That is why ngoma yako kama sikali, hata ona. Because anataka kitu na mfuraisha. That's why you must make him happy to support you. So at the end of the day, he is benefiting. His soul is benefiting. His spirit zina benefit. So hiki tuya, sisi ndo kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
That is why they chose, first of all, to support you. They have to acknowledge. And anyone that disregards your talent, you're so talented. I will support your talent. That's nice. But see, I see you supporting me. Support your cousin. Elevate them. Watch your cousin. Who is the biggest comedian? Kama si mfani, ata 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 umusapota, yakuna gitafanyika. So we have to accept and acknowledge what God put into us so that it can manifest to other people. Yes. Ah, to kendelea. I think this conversation is getting, is getting interesting. Hey, why, 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 why? Enyewe, they don't joke when they say this guy is very wise and intelligent. So why, why, last yeah. year you came with, uh, you supported Bridget so, so much. Yes. And uh, meaning get the whole idea of coming up, opening her YouTube channel, yani pushing her to do videos and everything. How did it start? First of all, I never thought of putting Bridget on any social media. Okay? So one day minimum of Shago. Bridget is a very hilarious girl. First of all, I have to shout out that little angel. She's hilarious. She's very obedient, extremely, way beyond what people think at Aqua Clips. Yeah. Very hardworking. Bridget Anna Osha Vyombo, Anna Pika. She does way much beyond a jake. And she's just a well brought up child. And just by the fact that I'm a girl, 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 and with our mentorship. So what happened? Me and I went home. We're just chilling. And then we're having conversation. In fact, uh, Bridget is way funnier than people might. Siku flani ataji ataji. What are you going to do? What are you? What are you on? What are you on? Kitu mi mi na ona nyowatu aoni. No ona. So what happens? Si tu meka tu me chill. Tuka ika kwa nampiga. Niki kwa nampiga picha. Kumani kwa nmereko na video. Niki reko niki ambia ni aje. Subali shata styleo styleo kwa iwezi. Akana ambia ah we piga. So yuki tu likuwa. Ika sema ah. Ebu nikika kateo video nika rusha online. Niki rusha online. Aka kwa nakati nini fulani tagline ya we piga. Maka kuna otaka jenga maka ngoma. Eh kitu ya. Ah we piga. Maka ika tumika kwa mamimu skatha. So suki fulani meka hivi kidogo. Naji record. Nataka kurekordu video yangu. That's why uki angale vizuri niyanzaka na selfies. So mini ya rekordu video yangu hivi. Alava kakuja kuripot ndugu yangu. Aka kuja kumripot. Eh Oliver. Imagine Tony Juzi. Alikuja kachukua perfume yako. Akachapa huku na huku. Na kwa matrrrr. <laughs> it was recorded. Nika iweka. It was so hilarious. Audience ikasema, "Pana, umdo ni mso hilarious, anza kumeka kam, akuja freestyle ndani na tunataka fungu channel akuna channel yake." So nika chana nao kidogo. So kuna siku tena tukaenda home. Tukaenda home, nika nika tukakana kwa gari. In fact, hiyo time alikuwa amekuja Nairobi na rudi Ushago. So akirudi Ushago nikamwambia, "Before rudi Ushago, Ebu ni explain tu, ni pike ka story moja tamu ya lifanyika nyumba, na kanza kutipike story ya, ya ndugu yangu tuwe, na kanambia Tony, alichoma na ujimoto juzi, akatema kwa ukuta, ni kamuliza, ulijuaje limuchoma, atalakona jifanya, lakini macho yake natuwa machozi, unawana? Ni kamambia ebu translate that same same story in English, aka translate, ni kaiweka. Went viral again. So watu waka insist, ni fungule channel. Mbaka kwa nini yangu, juu na juu ana kwa nga shule. So mi ni kwa Nairobi, sasigine siku wangi na yaka ma three months ako shule. Watu waka insist, where is Bridget? Where is Bridget? Where is Bridget? That's when you can channel. Now you can video. Kwanza hivi, can go viral. Then I'm back in Nigeria. So you back away. You know what? So back as I, I still have people when you're on our fight. What was Zima too? I'm going to do a fight Bridget. And I'm fight and I'm going to shit on Bridget. Mimi, there's, there's a lot of things in your name. You know, Mimi, come and get you mentored at the age of Bridget. Say, you get you far. Can you imagine coming in as a come and get you 20? Can you imagine coming in as at age of Bridget? Yeah, 80 years. You get you on Bali, age. So mimi watu wanaweza kuona na Bridget sahi but mimi namuona in 20 years in 20 years Bridget atakuwa anajua camera inashutuaje editing inafanywangaje cut zinachukuliwaje makatawezi ufanywaje watu wakataje atakuwa na kama 12 years of experience na ko 20 mm -hmm. yes okay nikiangalia kwa kwa comments especially the, the first videos zenye alikuwa anafanya there are people who thought Bridget is stubborn because of the kind of content the kind of character yes. alikuwa na portray pale kwa videos yes. uh, is it the reason yenye ilifanya mkaanza kufanya clips zenye ziko na ziko na lesson yani unaonyesha mtoto ukifanya hivi ukiiba mtihani utapigwa Bridget is a very polished girl now what happens i created that character in her Yo ya mu arrogant munini nikamnulia crocs na nini nikam nikatafuta hiyo nguo specific 
ikuwe hiyo brand yake na nini na nikatafuta there's a reason specific nilichukua hiyo yenye kona strap hapa na si ati ni full because there's something niliona unaona na ili work unaona so bridget eh, as a as a character ni demu wa but the reason nilimpa hiyo character ya mwaro ngati munini msumbuvu mchiki actually mchiki is because that's what most of us are so for all of us to relate lazima ni wape kitu yenyewe nyinyi ni hiyo tabia juu sasa uki uki kerebri jeta ti anapenda kanisa anapenda mungu ana ni obedient watu atachekea wapi mtu atacheka wapi ati anapenda yesu anaomba anafanya vitu vile ameambiwa hakuna comedy hapo comedy ina kuanga kuwa poverty and bad behaviors poverty na bad behaviors hakuna venye unaweza kuati useme sisi tulikuwa dosi kwetu na watu wacheke but ukisema sisi tulikuwa na lanjao watu watacheka yes okay do you think kenyans we tend to ignore yani to tunakata kwa kutaka kukubali that this is just an art ju unaona kuna watu walikuwa nasema umtoto ataendelea hivyo ata grow up vibaya ata atapita mtihani yani so many things kuna siku nikauliza mwingine kama ni hivyo kwa hivyo mtu mwenye ameact kama amekufa ataendelea kukufa <laughs> mtu ameact kama ni jini ataendelea kuwa jini eh mbona watu wanakuanga na shida ati huyu si ni mtoto afai ku act kwa hivyo sin za watoto zina fazi ya kutenda watu wazima kuna mwingine kwanza akaniambia ati nilipost video ya bridge akaniambia it's on a it's tuesday na mtu mtu anafaa kwa shule mbona anafanya nini hapa nikamuliza nikamuliza ile tamu unananga afro sina mausiku ina maanisha una act sa hiyo unaona kenyans wako na lot to say but trust me if ukiwasikiza utaumia if you listen to kenyans unaweza umia unaweza choka and 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 that is why as a parent and show mtoyo wako pia usikuwe tu wa kudekeza and show mtoyo wako ana grow through some ajue life ni nini in as much as you can provide for your baby and show ana ajue life ni nini so that by the time kuna anafika level of learning anakuwa na ile spirit ya self drive hiyo akikuwa nayo hizi mentality za kenya tutatoka but hizi mentality tuko nazo za wewe mtoto afanye na na ngile mtoto wako sasa kama mwingine akaniambia a lot of people a lot of parents nimekataa kumenta watoto wao wanataka nga walete watoto wao niwafanyishe ni wa edtie ni wafanyishe ni wa mentor nini ni wa create some characters but nilikataa deliberate nikasema kama mtoto wetu ndio mimfaitiwa bridge has not started earning money She has not started earning money. She's on her way to earn money. Uko mbele hata si hata next 5 years. But already what I said, mimi nakula pesa yake. Niliuliza ina wapi? Okay, nimeweka video Facebook. Nionyeshe vile pesa inakuja. Wewe unaona video, alafu hiyo pesa inaenda inaenda inaingia kwa account yangu. We just creating a brand. If this brand works, pale mbele atakuja ku make do. But already wa Kenya wanaona ngao ukieka mtu pale unataka ku make do. Oh, you are putting your even when I put my mother's house on social media. Watu wakasema huyo hiyo si nyumba ya mamake. Amejijengea alafu anakuja kudanganya ni ya mamake. Amejijengea hiyo ni yake. Mpaka nikajiuliza sasa huyu. Yaani mtu sasa anajua personally, anajua hii nyumba ni yangu. Unaona? Mpaka na mamangu sasa zingine anakaanga mali. Unaona msee ameamua tena anatetea mama yangu sasa. You are using your mother. Ma, mamangu anakaa chini mali anasema. Sasa mimi nimetuma, mimi sijawatuma. Mimi saa ngapi nimetuma watu wanitetea jamani? Niko sawa. So no, no, watu wanapenda sana kuingia kwa maisha za watu wengine and you know why because hawana kazi because 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 of poverty mentality and people don't want to believe that one day wanaweza make it to kama watu wengine they don't just want to clap watu wa believing wanaona ngani kama wow siku yao itaifika that is why wakiona ngamse anaika kitu they try to bring it down so the secret is ukiwasikiza mlaamo anawasikiza anga sana mara amechoma shati Mara mlaamu amefunga ame records. Mara amesema this artist that I've signed is no longer going to be in this. Mlaamu anasikiza maheta sana na anaingiza kwa heart. Hiyo ndio the problem. Hao maheta ukipata mmoja wa kudeal na ye, ukitaka kumbanta, banta ina kuangalia kumchapana, amekupiga kitu alafu unampiga na zito kumshinda. Unampiga tu come back but usite kwa heart at sasa una feel if there's need to block una block. But then move block wacha nikwambie mimi hata nikienda kwa page tuseme nimeenda kwa page ya kabi wa Jesus ha nimeona mtu ame reason view jinga na block advance asinifikie hii reason isinifikie hii ujinga isinifikie kwa page yangu ah hii sitaki ah mtu ana argue hivi asikue fanu wangu huyu na niende kwa page ya Eric na mtu ana argue view jinga i block them in advance anaja nikosea anasema tu huyu 
Ah, we are Okay, so you know, Bridget, me there is something I've never understood about Kenyans. Bridget, your time we were to yani vinya likuwa na kam, watu wenye ndo walitisha YouTube channel and everything. Who is it that Kenyans support at first a lot? Mm. But after a while, yeah. wakiona unaendelea and everything, they tend to wananza sasa iyo hatred. Kenyans will support you when they think you're poor. So they feel like ujawashina na kitu muko same level. They will support you. That is why ukiwa msani wa unaanza, useme nyaje, mimi, mimi na wapenda sana wasani, mimi na wapenda sana mafansu wangu na washukuru sana, unaanza, they will support you. Ile si kwenye maisha yako na change, Wana vitu zinatoka, unatoka from ule mwenye ulikuwa, they start fighting you. So the mistake you can do as an artist, ni kuendelea kwa uyo mtu wa. Oh, oh. Kuna level ukisha fika, you have to act that level. I was accessible then, I am not accessible now. My scope was small then, it's not now. Even with friendship, that is how it's supposed to be. But the moment you are too accessible, I'm not talking about not being humble. Being humble and being accessible are two different things. You can be very humble and inaccessible. Yeah. But when you're too accessible, that is how you lose a fan. Mm -hmm. come, for example, at Mali, Oh my gosh, if you are my neighbors, squeezy. Ata easy on a vitu zako. Uli lose fan moja. You square familiarity. The moment familiarity kicks in, you lose a fan. Mm -hmm. So most fans who to appreciate wakijiambia unateseka tunafanya nini sisi ni click moja the moment you move to the next level ana unani kama wewe ni adui unaona okay you know i feel like why is talking to me directly cuz we have grown then nafika pahali some people feel like kuna ringa and you've done nothing actually nothing to them you're just doing your own stuff but inafika ngapi level fulani watu wanaanza kusema ah huyu ana ringa Endo wangale hata nini yako, sai. Endo wangale history ya watu familia enu. Wangale nani aliona Yves Mungai last, waleona lini. Hata waoni, sai. Waoni. Siku ya kwanza ulifanya, waleona. Kwa, hey, oh my god, Yves na nini? Oh my god, haki ya kena channel, nina kuru kosh. Oh, hameenda nyumba ingine? Ok. Oh, wanapangu nunuwa gari? Hmm, ok. Siku isi baithi hata na notice, ile SPM buzz ndiyo kali. SPM buzz ni nakonga kali. Hii ya Eve, squeeze. Hai na content. That is what happens. So, when you are beginning, they love it because wanaona, hakuna matunda. Secondly, because they don't believe in themselves. Wanaona nga nikama pia hakuna maluna, eh? Look at Flaco. The moment Flaco, Flaco, alimekio, Flaco is a dope comedian. Dope. Skipper, dope actor. Onona, skit comedian. Mnoma. Alimekio na heti ya mulamua. He was doped kuna mjua, but ile time yenye heti ya mulamua ili kam, waka exchange. Ika kwa ata uwezi, flako wame kushinda. Then flako, eka exchange na? Wanda kwa zima, oh flako, oh flako, oh flako, flako! Wee flako yewe, kumbe yewe pia squeezy. Flako si akaenda sijua kona six packs, sijua mepata advert, sijua ya supermarket gani, ako kwa billboard. Waka zima, uyu crazy kenandi omukali. Flako, well, Flako Alisha. In fact, who Flako Alisha? That is how my fans are dealing with artists. When I say, hey, 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 chipukizi, 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 and I'm not going to see When I say, ah, kume akuna, hmm, akukudeja, 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 and I pick a gig squeeze, you are going to company in a higher events. Ah, kuna, mula mwa, mula mwa, mula mwa. So they cheer. Transition to the next level. So the day Kenyan fans will graduate, that is why somebody like Jugush is thriving because I a community. Jugush has a community when you are going to go to the safari, you are going to go level next. In fact, Jugush is the only, and I mean it. And I say it looking at the camera, Jukush is the only comedian, if not the only artist in Kenya, who has a community. When you talk about the Safara, now come support even to the level that one feel like successful. But still does not stop the fact that Kuna Wale Wenye Wali Toka Kwanjia. So if we learn to move now, 
because one thing that people do not know is that when industry ya yeah, entertainment ina group wanaona ngani kama wewe umesonga ume, if ungai umesonga sasa sisi tumebaki hapa tukiteseka nani wata sisi sisi shida zetu tunaona hata nini nyinyi at least mnajua watu what they do not know is that the economy works very differently let me educate them the moment you as an artist you're thriving the art industry is thriving you're making money the moment you're making money it means there's going to be circulation of money how i'm going to buy new shoes mtu anunua viatu pale ule mkulima mdogo ananakuza kiatu ule mtu aliniuzia viatu aende kulala nja eh niliuza leo ikuenda sana jua kina sana hata 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 buy food ai leo acha niende kwa nyama mse wa bucha ananakunua nya because kitu hajuni hiyo doi imetoka kuna msanii fulani alilipwa unaona kama ile event ili happen ya kina sauti sol na nini People might think that ilisaidia kina sauti sol only. No. Hiyo event ilisaidia ku circulate do. The moment kina sauti sol alikuja hapo, technicians walilipwa, nani alilipwa? Alitumia mama yake pesa, mwenye alilipa deni ya nani? Mwenye alifanya nini? Alifanya nini? So at the end of the day, this thing still trickles down to us. But when we start seeing it as to block wale, when uki block side moja, una block in, income in, uh, income stream ya karibu Kenya mzima and you might not even know So when we support strongly that's why oh my kasiku fulani ati pesa haiko tu siku na time na kuangatua ati do haiko tu yet watu wanalipa mshahara kama kawaida eh hakuna mwalimu amefutwa kazi hakuna daktari amefutwa kazi but pesa haiko tu pesa imepotea tu why because of it kama hizo pesa inendanga imekuwa milio mahali kuna kuna watu walifanya labda tenda mahali kwa gava ama watu walifanya kitu fulani hawajalipwa pesa imekuwa mauko but hiyo pesa siku ina release wangu hivi vitu zinaanza ku happen contractor analipwa pale nani anafanya nini anaenda ana buy chupa mtu ananunua soda mtu ananunua mzinga that is how money circulates so if you support entertainment that's why america in a, a entertainment inside the sana us because entertainment is one of the most treasured cultures us is one of the most treasured most if not the most most unaona kitu kama kama nba ina leta do mob sana it still comes back to the people but now if mnataka kutukazia sisi tusimake do au mtamake nyinyi pia mm-hmm. na tutamake na pia mtukiopata kwa shida tutasaidia unaona mm-hmm. so wa Kenya to watch that to, we, let's let's understand how these things work we the day to understand vile hizi vitu zinafanya imagine atoka kwa tumia mm-hmm. hatutakuwa Kimalizia. Well, I think this is a very long conversation. I'll find you some other time though to get hold of this guy. Hey, ni kazi. Hiyo nayo ni kazi by its own. Anyway, ningetaka kujua how is it that nowadays Bridget is not so consistent? Is it because of school? Because you know what happens is that Bridget akush ushago. Unaona? Unaona hiyo time nilikuwa consistent sana. Nilikuwa yes, ilikuwa hiyo time ya COVID. Hakuna mashuli, hakuna manini. Unaona? So ilikuwa napata a lot of opportunities and then also ilikuwa imenipata kama ilipata kama towards December fulani kuna siku nilika home kama two months throughout so napata kama alikuwa sasa hivi nikiwa hapa Nairobi i have a lot of things myself even mimi mwenyewe sasa zingine nakaanga chini mpaka unapata kuna meeting sijaenda nimesahau na jembe haye nilikuwa na meeting ya nani na nani so do i do naanza kuwapigianiaje hiyo meeting ilifanyika maze nilisahau this and this this came up naanza create excuse because the more you grow as a person unakuwa na lot of responsibilities mimi niko na mimi i still have a brother who is in high school uh, that i'm taking care of i have me i have uh, watu wengine wenye nasaidia wenye can't say you know niko na craft yangu yenye nafaa kufanya and i'm also doing business i'm doing business not one business actually so can you imagine kujagoli time yote nifanye biashara nifanye biashara nirudi nitafute time nifanye comedy 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 is crazy nafanya tu kwa luxury ni ni sawa ni ni relevant relevant to so nifanye comedy nikimaliza nikumke he bridget nikikumbuka bridget ayuko nairobi unajua kama angekuwa hapa ai angekuwa hapa kwa nairobi tungekuwa kidogo kesho nimepata time kidogo weka kamera nikikumbuka tena tunafaa kwenda home ni, ni, ni move all the way kama 8 hours nifanye saa zingine ako shule so the only time unaweza pata opportunity ni weekend cuz hizi shoot weekdays weekdays ako shule throughout ako sh- free weekday weekends weekend ndio sasa siku zetu za kazi na vitu zingine mingi kama kuna shoot kama kuna nini kama kuna vitu liacha during the week hiyo time pia unajirelieve unaona you rarely can find that time unaona 
So what happens in tutabambanya hivyo vile iko. We will not affect her school. Tutaifanya hivyo vile iko. Si ashafika 90 something subscriber. Aingie so tutafanya tu hivyo pole pole. And then one day now we get a structure of off my schedule yenye naweza fanya vitu kama one year. Mi kazi iko and kwa blow. Kwa blow yes. I would love to know. You know, Bridget is young, mm -hmm. and in our entertainment industry, normally is not. It's not. It's not easy. So, meaning, get kujua. You as a big brother, are you mentoring her? Yani so that time, una joko na time itafika, afike kama ejiangu. Then atakuwa na eh, awa tu na niambi ni easy. Iso conversations and yote nza fanya. Umetaja like the likes of kinamula mwa. Na fika ngama hali they give up. How are you preparing her mentally? Giving up. Ata nini akuanza? Ata before trying. Yana giving up. Mtu ame mwambi kitu moja hivi. Wanyani kwa mbele wanyani ni chaka kifa na comedy. Mi na ona tu comedy tu wajana tu na. Let me tell you something. Mi na tu wajana comedy ni wajana na i record label ya mramu entertainment ni wajana nuka bisa. Because anyway, shout out to mramu wa. You know, so what happens is that uh, Bridget ana jua vizuri watu na mujua. In the beginning haka wana jua. Kuna time ni kwa nafika na kwa mall kama kisumu. Bridget ana sima misha mall kunishinda. I fata na watu notice. Bridget na sima misha watu ame nini baka watu ni yake kando. Watu wanyo umtoto na yake kando. Nona. So ya yeah, juu yao time the beginning kwa nambia. How ni kina nani? Wana piga tu na mimi picha. How ni kina nani? Mona watu wana nijua. In the beginning hakuwa na. Hakuwa na understand. So with the time akigiro akikuja kwa understand. Akiwa shule akifanya nini. And then malitu yao kitu likuwe na mu affect na yao. Ni ati. First of all ni moliza ni aje. In fact, you open a quack to Makasas again, and all matters again at a sina intention. You could shoot only the a to find a video, Leo, a to find a homeo, Jachoka, as Jachoka, and I could have right attitude. So, Bridget, a cav, a cav, a cav, a canza cuojua, I, what are you jua? In a penivi, in a penivi. So, the thing that the biggest challenge that you look at, I, you know, the Uko Shago could now hour to a Facebook, Niwa Uko. Wako, wana kuanga mauko. So ni wako. Sata, nunajua watu wa Facebook wakuangi, watu wa wazali wangu kwa kwa zima, wana kuanga pia eh, to Facebook, to toto, to, to, to Facebook. So kwa kilasi yao kwa to Facebook, wachache. So, walianza kumbuli, unawana? And uh, wana msikila tu wivu, unawana? Akikupigia story, unasikia tu, mtuwe kutuna wivu, aja mfanya kitu wala kwa tuma beste. Bridget, uh, the other day akakujaka ni ungalesha, heart to heart. Something that an, only an adult can do, wakani ambia ni aje. Naweza kuangalisha nikamwambia ni sawa. Nikaniambia imagine mimi kwa klasi yetu watu 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 wananiangalisha anga vibaya alafu wananiambia anga hata kama una act. Mimi hiyo kitu wananiambia anga una kona action. Mimi hiyo kitu wananiambia anga kinasikia anga vibaya kama kuna siku wale niwekelea sijui nimefanya nini. Mwalimu akaenda kanichapa alafu anarudi anasema wamechapa Bridget, wamechapa Bridget, wamechapa unaona. So na mfeel naona nyaye watu hii. Kuna ni watu hii pia manini zao because that is not something that Bridget can do to someone. It's because of wame grow aje. Awa tuwe ja grow aki ambiwane aje. Penda mtoto mungine, learn vilu naongelesha watu, fanya hivi na hivi na hivi. And that is why. Watu wazima hume kiwa kiwa to hii. Awa hii audience yote ya Facebook. How to hiwa sort. Unless we have another generation that imepewa the right mindset from watu hii. Awa generation kubwa tuwezi wa change. You already wali grow hivo. Mtu hiyo na grow. Kama kuna places tu. Tuseme huko Central ama Nyanza. Nyanza kuna mtu wena grow tu wakichukia wakichukia wakikuyu. Ni mtu tomu dogo hivi ana grow kama nachukia wakikuyu. Hajuki tu wakikuyu alifanya. Ya pendi tu wakikuyu. Pendi ukuyu, pendi nini. Kuna mtu hivi ya huko Central mdogo hivi apendi wajaluo. For what? Because anasikia nga wapi kwa wazazi. So wazazi wa mekata kuchenji hii kitu. And that is why vitu kama racism, tribalism, hazizi isha ju the civil ones, si wengi, the wise ones, si wengi percentage ya medioka ya mediocres ni kubwa kushinda watu wa civil. So what happens is that we have to inspire the younger generation. Iki kam, sisi kweta tuwezi maza tribalism, but ineza ishia huko chini, wakianza kumaliziwa. Ata silabas, silabas yetu inatachingi tu, matribalism, kuna fata kukwena kitabu tu mzima ni ya ethics na mambo ya tribe peke yake. But ina, ina, ina kwanga tu maali kwa history ati, tribalism is this and this. Nini definition? No. Kids really need to understand that tribes don't matter. We all humans, sisi wate tuko hapa for a purpose, na tunachis the same thing. Na vile wanasamanga kwa internet, this war is against poverty, not against each other. Then it will help. Otherwise, tutenile kumia. Yes. Wow.
Uh, umesa, umesa ukasema, you're doing, nowadays you're doing comedy just for, just for fun and yes. everything. Is that the reason, Pia, where you've not been so consistent on YouTube? I'm not that. Mm -hmm. Unona. Me, I'm a stand-up comedian. In fact, YouTube is side hustle. Pia. YouTube, kwa comedy tena, comedy nye ni side hustle. Alafu YouTube tena ni side hustle. You understand? I'm a stand-up comedian. All right? And there are things that I'm seeing. The things that I'm seeing, Kumbele, is I want to do bigger. Let me tell you something, honestly. Me atasa zingine na fanya ngatu clip, but niki fanya clip na feeling kama this is not my thing. As in, it's not. As in, na feeling kama na fanya kitu iko iko way chini yangu na feeling kivo na feeling ni njia na fanya sifa iko fanya clips. But na fanya tu because sometimes kuna audience na itisha kuna na na itisha. So lazima ni wapai. But in real sense, I need to be talking to the adults. I need to educate. I need to give information there are a lot of things that i need to give to the society and that is why i'm, I'm planning to do a one month special this year and god willing i'll do them two of them two specials have you set the date or not yet your dates need to announce very soon i'm going to announce the dates for one month special it's going to be very expensive by the way mm -hmm. yes because content yangu ni expensive content yangu ya stand up comedy by the way ni expensive buyer mm -hmm. it's going to be very expensive wacha tukue na watu miamoja wetu lakini wote wamefika bay Wakienda wambio ingine, hey! Ile kitu ilikuwa pale. Hey! Ingine awa miss. Mm -hmm. That's how we kill the culture of tickets za miambili, mm -hmm. tickets za miatatu. We, we, we should stop doing shows za uh, miatatu. Mia. You will never make money at the end of the day. Ukikumbuka vile kusetap event ingumu. Ulipe sujuu saa, nufanya nini, nufanya nini, utapata umefanya event for relevance. Mm -hmm. So right now we need to look at how to do crafts. Kutopea do. Mm -hmm. Enough do. Watu walipe tu tickets. Wakuje kuwa na show. No, no. So I'm doing a special this year. Na nikisha fanya special, uta inyo na nikifanya clip tena. The day ni mefanya special, ndo hile ni melandisha special. I will never do a clip tena. Kama nita kwa nafanya vitu zingine, nafanya kuwe nafanya talk shows, nafanya kuwe nafanya other things that zina impact society, not just comically now. Mm -hmm. Because I think I have a lot in my mind that I need to share. Mm -hmm. A lot, mm -hmm. if. Uh, to Kimalizia, I would love you to talk to young generation, especially who probably you inspire or those who want to come into this space, comedy space. Number one, don't think it's going to be an overnight thing. I have seen a lot of people on the I'm a talented comedian. I can do comedy. I want to act with you. And then now I ask myself, Mimi mefanya kitu for 15 years, eh? Wewe unaanza, unataka kuwa upcoming na mimi. Mimi mwenye mpikia kitu 15 years, unataka kuwa upcoming, unataka kuja kutest. Kwa vitu zangu, you're coming to test, experiment. You can't have that problem, because even me, I find someone telling me, I want to open a YouTube channel tomorrow, and I want you to be the first guest. I want you to be the first guest. Unona, wewe ulianza na wasani wakubwa? So ulianza mali mba kota kwa wana, eh, umto hii by the way, watu kanza kusupport vitu zako nini, unona? People don't want to start from somewhere. Mtu anataka, wewe, wewe mwenye ulisha create, create kitu, anataka, because there's a time niluliza mtu. Nime kuja kwa, nilimuliza, aliambia, I can do comedy, but I don't have a platform. Nika wambia mi platform yangu ni gani? Sini YouTube na Instagram. Na umeni contact through Instagram. Kwa hivyo kona platform. Kwa hivyo shida yako ni unataka followers wangu. Uishi issue si platform, uja kosa platform. So, mi wambia mtu ni aje. Ayo, unataka kufanya comedy unani, wapi vitu zako. Unapata hana kitu yata ya kwanza ya, ku, ya kunini. So anataka wewe ndi ukwe kama benchmarking. Siku yake ya kwanza, haku wanafanya na wewe. How will I trust to do anything with you? The first time Chris Kena ever contacted me, hata before he got famous, to do a clip with him, tukwa nafanya kilifrani ya SDA. Kitambo sana, I think it's like almost three years ago. Haka nebe ni aje? Bro, ilipata kama already kuna vitu wame anadu. Haka nebe ni aje? Bro, mine zataka kufanya clip flani na wewe, ni mandika script, ya nini, ya nini, I can show you the DM. Ni aje, nataka kufanya comedy na wewe, kuna silifani ni meona, na vilu nafanya nga SDA, hizo vitu zako za SDA, nataka tufanya kitu flani na moja, utakuwa kwa master, na this, na this, na this, na that. Nika ambia ni aje, nika, ni, in fact, nilina kwa oli yake. Nika mata, boy, anadu, vitu deadly, ni munoma. So already, he's not an upcoming, already ni, watu tuwa jamujua bado, in the level na nafaku julika na yo, but ni boy muno. Boy mnoma, hata siku istrinko wameni aje buda, unaishi wapi? Kanema ishi lakisama. 
I went all the way to Lakisama tukafanya video na Kenya na tukasukuma na nikamwambia tena ukiwa na nini niite nikamkuamini yani nikwa na kitu ndakuita tufanye nikwa namuita anakuja home tunafanya kitu unaona because he had something to bring to the table a lot of people only want to take what you already have made so will I choose somebody who's bringing something to the table or somebody who wants to take from me the one who wants to take yes so guys, it has been the Mungai Eve show to make one a YY comedian. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Hey, Inenda Kuwa, the longest interview I've ever done. Thank you so much. We appreciate. And guys, in case you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe. We meet in the next video.